Hello, welcome, welcome to the uh, Dwarren Academy Stroke Northcliffe School overview. Uh, thank you for choosing the audio version as we come through the entrance into the new hall where many a good assembly was done by Miss Brooke and uh, Dr. High, one of my favourites. Um, obviously the dining room, never went in there really, a bit too expensive. We never really got to see the kitchens, but a great bunch of guys, obviously didn't get to know them, but I uh, hope they're doing well now. Obviously, you've come outside. I remember meeting a Rockweiler here and telling Martin Morkeen to come and look after it for me, but uh, he uh, he didn't take me up on the other. Technician's room. Steve uh, Steve loves this room so much. Uh, he doesn't really let anybody else go in it. There's uh, obviously my old room when I first started. Obviously changed a bit there. Mr. Rich's uh, teaching for Becky. And this is uh, Mike Fisher's old room. Oh, lovely room. And uh, this is the room that everybody hated, but uh, didn't want to spend too long in there, did we? So... Round here, we're coming through to the uh, the uh, food technology room where old friend Kershaw used to teach. Oh yes, uh, I love going in there at the end of the day, 7 o'clock at night, and she was still there. Miss Hodgkinson's old room, where they used to teach electronics, and then obviously uh, this is where all the kids used to have accidents, uh, sort of playing with fire and furnaces, etc. Amazing. House director's office, they moved them around quite a lot, didn't they? Corridors. Brilliant for running in in those days. We used to run up and down these corridors. Great thing about the corridors was loads of space to run. You could run one way and uh, people could run the other. A bit like a game of chess. You see them moving one way, you go the other and they never ever catch you. So uh, lots of uh, students used to play that game and used to love it. So uh, corridors amazing. Corridors in New School, not so good for running unfortunately. Okay, here we go into the new block. Well, new block as it was. Obviously, me and Miss Brooke remember it before it was burnt down by a, by a few students about 15, 20 years ago. Mr. Fridlington, obviously working hard there, as we can see. And um, here we have another of the, the rarest species of, uh, of technician. And uh, another technician as well. The IT one seems to have snuck in here as well. No idea why that is, but uh, obviously he has. Back outside again, obviously, have started work uh, building the new school. And there's the... Uh, there's the people you go and see when you're a little bit upset. Never at the end of the day for some reason, always during the day. Staff room, lots of laughs in there. Uh, kitchen, always got a second cup of tea there at uh, lunchtime, excellent. IT, Mr Evans still there, don't think he'll ever leave, you know. And here we go, along the corridor. This corridor must seem familiar on the way to work. There's the old hall, assemblies in there and basically a place where you can ship lots of things basically. Here we have uh, the uh, IT technician's office, they seem to move them around a bit as well. Another excellent teacher teaching history. Here's the hall at break time. Uh, the olden days they used to sell uh, some kind of triangular shaped chocolate, kind of flaky kind of thing that the kids used to love, can't remember what it's called now, but it used to be uh, very chewy and uh, the kids used to eat at a break time. Now we come up to my room. Lots of people have had this room, but I used to love this room. Get a great view over at the new building that we're in now. Obviously a great view of things like power stations as well. There's the little prep room. Uh, not looking as tidy as it's been in the past, but here's your room, Miss Brooke. A brilliant room. Obviously we can't stop. Got plenty of the places to go. And back down we go onto the corridor. As we said, great place to run the corridors. Modern foreign languages. Yeah, there's a couple of students there waving at the camera. And here is, uh, unfortunately, not so tidy uh, math room. Yes, math's not very good at keeping the place tidy, unfortunately. Um, I think Dr. I started it and they sort of carried it on. Here we go. Uh, some more, oh, very, almost like a mini computer room uh, where the kids can, uh, when in those days computers were a bit of a novelty, so kids used to love and have the computers out. Now, not so. Mr. Richards again, he obviously was on cover that day, around and about. And obviously uh, another maths classroom. Uh, here we go, down to RS. Yeah, everyone was facing the front in those days. No, uh, no collaborative learning, as I can see. Unfortunately, um, at least you could see what the kids were doing. So that's a, a benefit we've got. As you can recognise all the old projectors and all the old, uh, all the old uh, paraphernalia we had. Library, excellent, or study centre, as we should call it, as you know. Obviously, just down. Um, down here, we're having a look in the English department. Lots of key words on the wall. I remember Mr. Leggett having competitions, so he had the best displays in the department. He didn't enter himself, of course, because obviously he would win. IT. When I first started, we had the old Archimedes, and they were uh, brilliant computers. Incredibly slow. They were so good, they sold them all to us uh, after a few years. 
music room, which used to be toilets in the Year 7 common room in my day. There's the uh, art room, absolutely massive space. I don't know why they needed it all, but uh, obviously they think they did. Lunchtime. Yeah, gone gone to the chips now that we used to have and in with the pasta. P department always can be seen there. Staff room. Staff room again, great place to meet people, great place to hang out, so to speak. Yeah, and here we go down the corridor. Kids in those days just go where they like. Now oh, here's the uh, sixth form area. Buzzing it was, buzzing it was, making their own cups of tea and uh, and all that sort of thing. Now here we go, let's have a look outside, see what we can find. Yeah, remember the boiler? I uh, remember when it uh, used to break down, or, well, I used to sabotage it a little bit so we could have a day off here and there if we're lucky. That's what it looks like inside. Here we go, we're having a look at the uh, where Mr. Wardle used to teach out in the uh, out in the outside. There's Mr. Richards again, he gets everywhere on this video, I don't know. I must have given him a starring role. Obviously back out here is SEN, or I used to teach science up here, uh, special educational needs. Obviously empty because uh, obviously we don't have many uh, SEN kids anymore at the school. And uh, obviously here we come and uh, come to the end of it. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, the audio version of uh, of Northcliffe School.